people, long time no see. I went on vacation last month. We went to Yellowstone National Park. We saw a lot of bison. You know, there was Bert, there was Mutt and Jeff. There was Ranger Rick who chased one of the Mutt and Jeffs off the road. That was scary. Um, have a clip of that. See, you'll see that later this month. But today, today is last month's cupcake because I was out of town when I would have made it. So we're gonna do it now. And then October should be on the regular schedule time. So we're gonna be making, in honor of my camping trip, s'more cupcakes. So the first thing we need to do is make a graham cracker crust because the good foundation of a of a s'more is graham crackers, you know, wooden co. It's the same, it tastes the same as the other one and it's cheap. Let's be real. So, that, so for a sing, I'm making a double batch, but for a single batch, you'll need one and a half cups of like crushed graham cracker stuff. Beautiful. A third of a cup of sugar. And then, get all that out. And then mix it together, mix these together a little first. You know, you don't want half of it to be sugar and half of it to be graham crackers. That would probably be delicious, though. But don't do it. <laughs> um, and then, six tablespoons of melted butter. That one can get in there because it's nasty. Then you mix it until it's, like, all mixed. Yep, we only use the proper terms here. So, we saw a lot of stuff while we were in Yellowstone. We actually saw a bear. He was quite far away, although my mother thought he was still too close. <laughs> um, so let's explain all the bison. So the first two bison we saw, we actually saw on our second day, well, first day in the park, going places, but second day there, we, we, they, they, we saw them every day. Their names are Mutt and Jeff. And then, when did we see Old Faithful? The second day? Second day at park. Second day at park, we saw Old Faithful, and on our way back to the visitor center, which is by Old Faithful, we saw Bert. He told my father his name, um, and my father loved Bert so much, that was the theme of his birthday this year. <laughs> so, this is our graham cracker, you know, it like presses together, but it like also comes apart. It's like wet sand. I actually hate when people use that, because like, sand wetness is very like, it's very non-specific. Is it right by the ocean? Is it a couple feet away from the ocean? What do you mean by that? It's kind of like kinetic sand. That's a better example. So, it's sick. It's a cupcake tray. This is a very big cupcake tray because I make a lot of cupcakes. And like a spoonful. Enough to make a nice layer, but not like so much that you're gonna have not that much cake. And you just kind of like put it in. That was kind of a lot. I think. I don't know. It get, and then you take like a spoon or a tart thingy and you pack it down. Yep. I did get enough. I just took some out. <laughs> I got silver ones because, you know, campfire, foil. I think that fits with the theme. So. We, so it was pretty fun there. We saw the Grand Prismatics, but it was kind of foggy. So you can't really see it very well. But there was this other thingy, I forgot the name of it, but it was right next Excelsior. Excelsior? Excelsior. That sounds like the name of a bougie water. Excel the Excelsior. That one was really pretty. It was all teal. And the teal, I think teal is like the hottest, if I read the thingy correctly. And then we saw Old Fateful, obviously. That one was cool. He kept teasing us, though. He'd be like, I'm going, no, I'm not. I'm going, no, I'm not. And then there was one that was just going crazy. It was the beehive geyser. And it, it was just going off like the whole, when we got back to the visitor center, this was like going off crazy. So I'm going to finish putting, you know, this is what it kind of looks like in the thingy. So I'm going to finish putting these in here and we will meet you back when we're done with that. All right. So we finished doing all of the graham cracker and now we got to make the cake. So we're using my girl, Betty Crocker, the chocolate. The super moist fudge chocolate. That's bougie. And you put, so I have the water and oil already in the bowl. And if you're using this, you need for one box, one and a quarter cups of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. And we're making a double batch, so double that. So we're gonna, so we're gonna add the, the cake mix. I should have got the Oh yeah, don't do this at home. <laughs> As the kid. <laughs> yes, don't do this 
at home children. Honestly, probably don't care at all. You shouldn't either. I live life on the edge. So, you know. Ooh, I'm gonna talk. So, there's this YouTuber. Um, he does. He has a like four channel. Yeah, a gaming channel. Like, a, not like a gaming. Well, it's like. Okay, he basically picks apart game things and tells you about them. So he has one where he picks about games called The Game Theorist or Game Theory. One about like movies and TV shows, which is film theory. And then one about like food, which is food theory. And there was this one from Food Theory about how the cake is a lie. I'm done to that. I won't spoil it. But needless to say, our friendly little egos are involved. I call eggs egos, by the way. So we're not putting egos, we're putting eggs. So I will link that below. I suggest watching it. It is hilarious. So we gotta mix these together very well and not spill. I'm very good at that. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so. Well, that, that makes fast. So, you know, what are we gonna talk about? We need a new topic. Topic of discussion. How about road trips? Road trips, if you're doing an eight hour road trip, it, they're great. You you feel like, wait, we were on a road trip? What happened? Because, I mean, where I lived in California, it was like a six hour drive to go see like some, my mom's side of the family. So eight hours isn't really that long for me. But then you go on a 26 hour road trip and it's like, Wait, we're still in Texas? Oh, yeah. It's 26 hours to go to Yellowstone from, from Dallas. It's great. <laughs> um, but there's this amazing thingy that's like a car backseat organizer thingy. And you like put all your stuff in there. There's a place to put your tablet so you can watch like YouTube. Except I don't have service out there. So, downloaded Disney+. Plus. I highly suggest getting them. They're pretty cheap on Amazon. For You get like two for like $17, I want to say. I don't know. I'll link one below. So, now that it is mixed, we must scoop it. The batter it. So, you know, you put about a scoop in. These. This is kind of, okay, there you go. Probably actually have to put a little less than a scoop because there's already mass from the um, graham cracker. What? You just used science. Yay. Can we talk about how annoying eighth grade, um, lingu uh, in in most people say English, eighth grade English is? Um, it's like, okay, but I learned this in third grade. Are we sure we're going to be doing this? But then there's also times where they're talking about like, What's where you, like, take the word and you put, like, the syllables? I, it's unnecessary, I think. <laughs> um, everyone that's a literature major isn't raging in the comments right now. But, like, that's my opinion. <laughs> so, so, I think, okay, 8th grade. 8th grade history and geography, it's not much different than just 7th grade or even 4th grade. It's a lot of dates and people with weird names um, that you can't pronounce. Oh, I got an issue with language art. I'm not history and geography. They keep spelling Queen Isabella of Spain's name wrong, but like they go back and forth between the two. So last year, no, sixth grade, I'm in eighth grade by the way. In sixth grade, they kept calling, doing the Italian spelling, but now in eighth grade, they're, going, they're like every other time it's the Italian, every other time it's the, it's the um, like Spanish spelling. It's like, y'all need to make up your mind. I, I just, it's, it, they, they're so particular about names and dates, but they won't even spell that, her name right. I, I don't, I, I don't understand. And no, 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 no Nintendo on that one. Well, after that rant, we'll be back when we're done film, putting all the batter in. So, the cupcakes have been cooled. They have been gutted. And now we make the frosting, which is also going to be the filling because, you know, no such thing as too much marshmallow. I don't think anyway. So we have in here. I need to look at my recipes. Sorry, I've never made this before. We have two. Okay, I'll show you the single batch. 
one seven ounce jar of marshmallow fluff. We just used this one. Um, and then you'll need two sticks of butter. And then, you know, then you need um, a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you mix those together. We'll do that in a second. And then you add, I think it's one to two, yeah, one to two t tablespoons of milk. Maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. And one and a fourth cup of powdered sugar. But I am making a double batch. So, we have the vanilla and marshmallow fluff already in here. Bring this a little closer. Okay, and we're going to mix this with the butter so it gets like all combined. Have everything all ready. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna make you listen to the sound, but we're gonna whip this and you'll just get to hear pretty music. So now that that's mixed, you're gonna add, you know, you're gonna add this in amounts. You know, start with like, start with a cup of it. Kind of do like half at a time, just so it's not too much for the little mixer to handle. And we'll be back when this is all over. Alright, we have put the frosting in the packing bag. We only had, we added one tablespoon of milk for a double batch. So if you're making a single batch, add like a teaspoon. Because, um, I don't know, that lady's math must have been wrong. So, we're going to do the filling first, and then we're going to make the topping before we frost it, because it needs to cool. So, you know, you've seen this a million times. You just stick it in. You just like pipe it in. This is the firmest frost filling we've ever had. You just go like that until all of the cupcakes are filled with this amazing marshmallowiness. And like the frosty is amazing. It tastes. It's like it's like an experience. First you get the mallow, then you get the butter, then you get the sugar. Well, the sugar and the marshmallow, and then you get the marshmallow again. It's just an experience that everybody needs to have. And we're going to finish filling these, and we'll be back for the Heschel topping. Okay, we have filled our cupcakes, and before we make, we, fill, we frost them, we got to add the special, we got to make the special topping, which is a drizzle of chocolate ganache. I know, amazing. But, so, for the chocolate ganache, you can have this recipe, you know, whatever. Uh, I've just, i made it so many times, I don't really, I don't measure, I just go like, yep, that's enough. But, so I measured it this time, it's about one pint of heavy whipping cream, this is Kroger because, you know, Kroger, and then one and a half cups of chocolate chips, I probably used Nestle Full House, I think that's the one, yes. and then you, new, you microwave it for like 15 seconds stir, 15 seconds stir, until the chocolate is melted and it's all, so chocolate's melted and then you mix it until it's ready. So I'm going to put this in the microwave and we'll be right back. Okay, we've, done, we've been mixing chocolate ganache, and once it starts looking like that when you're mixing it, you want to give it a good mix for a while, and if the clumps aren't breaking up, then do like 10 seconds until it's melted, you know? But you might need a spatula to get it all the guts out. Yes, guts. So, you know, we're going to have a question today. Um, you know, it's Halloween. It's Halloween season. We're in October. What, what's your favorite Halloween movie? Mine is Nightmare Before Christmas. I know a lot of y'all are going to probably say Hocus Pocus. I have never seen Hocus Pocus. I will probably see it very soon. Because that I'm pretty sure that Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus is probably my mom's favorite. Oh, another good Halloween movie. Spook, Spookly the Square Pumpkin. Excellent movie. I love that movie. Okay. I need to nuke this for a little bit. We'll be right back. Okay, so we nuke this for 10 more seconds, and this is kind of the, can you see it? Or you want to bring, bring the camera in, I'll move here. Ooh, it's already getting really thick. So this is kind of the color and consistency. Keep in mind we use semi-sweet, so if you use milk it might be a little darker, if you use dark it might be a little darker. Wait, lighter for milk. Sorry, words are hard. So that's kind of what you want, and you can take the camera back now, my dude. Ooh, yes, this is what we're going to do with the baggie. Give it a good whooping. This money. I'm sorry. I make myself laugh with my jokes. But, so I have to make your chocolate ganache cool faster because we need it to cool. 
is to put it in a Ziploc bag. So I put half in one quart and half in another quart size bag. So you just put it on in there. And you got a scrapey, scrapey. There's this lady, okay. There's this lady I watch on YouTube. Her, the channel's Royalty Soaps. She like, she makes soap, obviously. And she like, has a business or whatever. And she, so yeah, she makes soaps. And she's like, so she always says like, scrapey, scrapey, your little containy. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's, it, I say it every time now. I scrape, I scrape any kind of container. So then, you kind of let it kind of lay down. If you do only do this if you're a profesh, professional, otherwise you might have chocolate everywhere, even if you're not a professional. I mean, even if you are a professional, you still might have chocolate everywhere. But I, you, if you lay it down like that, you'll get all the air out. You can just do it like you would normally do. Now we're going to put these in the freezer for like three minutes, then flip them, and then three more minutes. So we'll be back when we're done with that. Okay, we're back. This has set up. It's not, it's like, it's still running, you know. But it's not like, it's burning. It's like, the, it's the consistency you want, okay? So we're aiming it. So we have very filled the piping bag, and now we're going to do the frosting. So, you know, you start, and you do a little swirl, like that. That was a bad choke. Go like, like that. You know, simple, just like a little bloop. While we do this, I'll do a couple more cupcakes while I t so talk about chocolate ganache. So it's a little bit so it's a, it's a runnier ganache because it's a drizzle. If you wanted to use it to make the like frosting, you're probably gonna want to let it sit in the freezer or no the fridge overnight, and I think it'll get firmer that way. And so if you're trying to make your chocolate ganache frosting, you're gonna need a little firmer. But it's right, but this consistency is good for what for our purposes. Alright, I'm gonna refill the piping bag and pipe more cupcakes and we'll be back with Okay, so we've cut the hole in the pipe in, in the like ziplock. We have our cupcakes ready and now we drizzle. The drizzle's gonna come out fast. So you gotta be prepared, man. It's gotta go like a little swirly. You know, it's like cow in a real s'more, the chocolate goes everywhere. What's sad is when your marshmallow falls out the bottom, so it's just like biting into a hard chunk of chocolate and graham cracker. Also, why in the commercials is the chocolate melted? In my experience, I've never had melted chocolate unless I nuked it. So I think we need to have a petition to make the, the s'more commercials more realistic. I will be signing. <laughs> so, you know, so these are our cupcakes. We will come back for a close-up. Okay. These are our cupcakes. They, they, they look amazing. Oh, that was the lens cap. <laughs> I just, they look beautiful. Now we will cut one. <laughs> and then the inside. <gasps> it's beautiful. Let me get it out so you can see that nice crust. Oh, I cut through the wrapper. How did I do that? Maybe it's because it's spoil. There's the graham cracker crust. Ooh, it's about to fall. So we'll put you, we'll put you all back on your stand, and we'll come back for the taste test. Now for the very official scientific taste test. It's really good. It's like it's just like a s'more. Yeah. Like a legit s'more. That was amazing. I hope you all make this cupcake, or, you know, if you don't, that's cool too. But if you do, you know, comment, how did it turn out? Um, Ollie, I mean, yeah, I don't know how, so you can comment, tell me how it turned out, or, you know, if, I, if it was a complete fail, or if, it's, if it was amazing. I would like to know, because I'm nosy. <laughs> but, I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, like the video, share with your friends, and that's all I have to say. Bye!